Hi everyone, today we're going to use the Desmos calculator to help us solve compound interest problems. So we know our formula is a equals p times 1 plus r over n to the nt. I want to show you how to put this into the calculator and I picked some specific values. So I said what if p was equal to 5000, our r is 0 0.04, we have an n of 12, and our time t is 3. So we will flip over to Desmos. So in Desmos, we don't type the a equals, we just start putting in the number. So I have 5,000 parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12. And then we're going to hit to the power. So you have two choices for the power. You can use the up arrow on your keyboard, which is usually over the number 6, or you can go onto the Desmos calculator and use the power, the a, b. Now watch when I hit in the 12, that's fine, and then I want to say times 5. Now when I hit the 5, do you notice the 5 came down? It's not in the exponent anymore, and that's a problem. We really want to pay attention to this. So we're going to go back a little bit, go back to the exponent, and we're going to put parentheses, 12, and then I can say times 5. This tells Desmos that I want the 12 and the 5 in the exponent. So this is one way to get this done. See, um, our answer is $6,104.98 if we were making this money. Um, your second choice is to say, well, this is 5,000, and I have 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 12. And then when I go to the exponent, I'm just going to do ahead of time that 12 times 5 is 60 and put in 60. You get the same exact answer, so this is a personal preference of would you like to use the parentheses in the exponent or would you like to ahead of time figure out how many compounding periods you have. Let's solve for the value of p using compound interest. So my scenario is that we want $10,000 in the future, we're going to invest at 6% interest, compounded um, semi-annually, which is twice a year for four years. So I have 10,000 is p times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 2 to the 2 times 4. Before I head over to Desmos, I do want to solve for p. And what I mean by solve for p is to isolate it. So I want to say p is going to be equal to 10,000 over 1 plus 0 0.06 over 2 to the 2 times 4. So we want p by itself, that way everything that I'm putting into the calculator is a number. We're ready to type in our numbers. I put in 10,000. When I hit divide, it makes a fraction. I need parentheses. I have 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 2. Now notice if I hit the parenthesis right now, it puts the parenthesis with the 2. So I want to go back and make sure I hit my arrow over so that I'm showing the parenthesis is around the 1 plus 0 0.06 over 2. Now I'm ready to hit the power, so I hit AB. And I'm going to choose to put this in parentheses. So in parentheses, I have 2 times 4. And once again, I need to close the parenthesis. You can close the parenthesis on your keyboard, or you can do it on the Desmos keyboard. Okay, I can see my answer, 7,894.09. Just as a second option, remember, we could do the exponent ahead of time. So I can do 10,000 divided by, again, I need parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 2. Remember to go over, so my parentheses looks right. And then my exponent, 2 times 4, is 8. We get the same answer either way. It's just a, a, definitely a matter of preference. I hope that's helpful.